rumor has it that money is the root of all evil. Apparently, it also doesn't grow on trees. And now when it comes to paying for anything, it may just not matter what's in your wallet. That fat wallet ruining the backside of your jeans has always meant that you're packing some Boku Benjamins and major plastic. But a packed wallet may soon be extinct, fast becoming an analog dinosaur in a digital world. Innovators in the tech world are helping us downsize in ways that range from thin to thin air. Here are a few innovations that may soon make your wallet vanish forever. Kanishk Parashar is the founder of Coin. Coin is a device that looks and works like a credit card, but it holds all of your credit cards. With several self-described startup failures, Kanishk says those experiences yielded valuable lessons. There was a chicken and the egg problem in the market where if you build a technology, you have to get both consumers and merchants to adopt that technology. Coin, what it does is it lets a consumer adopt the new technology so merchants don't have to change anything. And that was the whole premise, that lesson that was learned years before that then um, led to Coin. All you do is scan your cards into the Coin app on your phone. Once you've done that, just use the card like any other credit card. The special feature being the button that lets you toggle between cards, selecting which card you'd like to use. Now, since almost everything is kept in our smartphones, I mean it's a phone, a photo album, a calendar, and a computer, why not a wallet? Well, the day we can use our phones to pay for goods and services has arrived, and in a myriad of ways. The newest revolutionary breakthrough is NFC technology. It stands for Near Field Communication. It's basically a chip which is in some smartphones. It's a no-contact way to make a purchase, simply by holding the device in front of an NFC reader at the point of sale. Some even say this method of payment is more secure than what we've known in the past, meaning your information remains hidden, even from the merchant. I think I can understand wireless payments, but what about bankless payments? You might have heard of Bitcoin. I know, what is it? It's a global cryptocurrency. We could spend hours on this one because it's pretty esoteric, but we'll try to keep it short, thanks to Stanford Graduate School of Business professor, Susan Athey. It's just a big spreadsheet. A big spreadsheet that tells you who has sent Bitcoin to whom. It's synonymous, so I don't have names and phone numbers on this big spreadsheet. I just have addresses, and only I know which address is mine. There's no third party. There's no institution, there's no government, there's no bank that needs to authorize this. I won't lie, it's a lot to get my head around, but that's at least an introduction to Bitcoin. The methods of payment can be dizzying, but the jingle of change in your pocket may prompt you to have a monetary change of heart. And you can bet there's an app for that.